Well, as tensions grow, so does the fear of Russia's next move. I spoke to a woman from the Ukrainian American Committee of Metro Detroit who lives here, and she says, you know, she connects with her cousins and family there daily as they fight to keep their border and land. I'm very concerned and I'm worried what's going on right now in Ukraine. Olena Danluk, who grew up in Western Ukraine, says many family members and friends back home are still in disbelief that the conflict has escalated to the point where the country now fears a Russian invasion and possibly losing its freedom and independence. It's believed President Vladimir Putin's aggression is part of his mission to restore the Soviet Union that was dismantled 30 years ago. People and kids who were right now 21 years old, 30 years old, they even didn't know what, what it was before. We cherish new values and our youth, they, are, they wanted to join in Europe, they want to be partners, they, we have new universities, we have new perspectives and people were able to explore the world. Nothing is clear, but families, Elena says, are prepared to flee at any moment. Some are building shelters, others are training to fight. Following a video call with European allies, President Biden put troops on standby, along with NATO member countries, which are ready to send ships, fighter jets, or troops if necessary. But now is that scary moment, it's right here and um, enemy is right near, it's right near our borders and especially they're entering into our country. So we have, we, everyone understands that we have to protect. Olena, who is a member of the Warren-based Ukrainian American Civic Committee of Metro Detroit says, Michigan is now home to 20,000 Ukrainians. They continue to gather at churches and lobby state representatives and members of Congress while collecting donations and sending aid to families and orphanages back home. Personally, we are sending packages for those people and just collecting as much as possible to support. Everyone is going to be prepared that uh, something could happen every hour. Now, President Biden said today he will make a decision in the coming days on whether to send in U.S. troops. He will. But the State Department has already ordered some U.S. personnel and their families out of Ukraine is there a plan by Ukrainian Americans here to get their families to safety? Well, they do, you know, first off, let's just say that the plan right now is Americans should leave and Americans should not travel there. But yes, Elena says that they are packed, her family members, friends, people there, they're ready to flee to safety if necessary, not necessarily here, but they have places and they are building shelter if, if not, or they are prepared to fight if they have to. So uh, they don't want to go back to the old ways of the old Soviet Union. Understandable. Tense situation. Taryn, thank you.